Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Another tutorial video for today. We will be discussing logarithmic functions. So in order for you to understand the logarithmic function, please go to playlist, then watch the other videos before this lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe. And of course, do not use this video as your instructional materials in classroom setup or in online classes. Let's begin. So first, let us define what is logarithmic function. So if we have log y base b is equal to x, if and only if b raised to x is equal to y for b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. So this will be our condition. So our condition is b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. Then we will come up in this form log y base b is equal to x. And it can be written in exponential form, our previous lesson, b raised to x is equal to y. A logarithmic is an exponent which b must have to produce y. Okay, so which b must have to produce y? In short, our b is the base raised to x is equal to, will produce y, so this will be our logarithmic function. So, logarithmic form, that is in the form log y base b is equal to x, wherein our b here is our base and x is our exponent. Can be written in exponential form, b raised to x, so b is our base and x is our exponent that will become or equal to y. Let's have more exercises about this one to better understand. And next, let us discuss the laws or the properties of logarithm. So our condition, b is greater than zero and b must not be equal to one. Then we have the following properties. Log 1 base b is equal to 0. So because if we're going to write this in exponential form, this will become the base raised to 0. That will become 1. Next, log b base b is equal to 1. In exponential form, that is equal to b raised to 1, and that will be equal to b. Okay? Next, log b raised to x, base b is equal to x. Number 4, log x base b is equal to log y base b. If our, If this will be our condition, then our x and y are equal. And number five, log, a, uh, log c base a is equal to log c base b plus log a base b. And number six, log b base a is equal to one over log a base b. In many cases, we're just going to use one, two, three, and four. So, to better understand the logarithmic function and its properties, let's have this example. Write the following exponential equation into logarithmic form. So, from exponential, we're going to write into logarithmic form. In our discussion, we know that if we have b raised to x, is equal to y, 
we can write into logarithmic form. So, log y base b is equal to x. Okay? So, from exponential, we're going to write into logarithmic form. Let's try number one. Okay. 3 squared is equal to x. So, let us first write log. Then, where is our y? We're going to write x here. Our base, our base is 3, is equal to the exponent. Okay. This will be the logarithmic form. Let us repeat. Log our value of y, which is x, and our base is 3 is equal to the exponent. Another one. Log. So we have, in this case, our base is, so we have 3 raised to x is equal to 8 to 1. Okay, if we're going to uh, use number 1 as our Reference. So this is just the same. Commutative property. 3 raised to x is equal to 8 to 1. So log of y in this case is 8 to 1. And our base is 3 is equal to our exponent is x. Okay. Log 8 to 1 base 3 is equal to x. Next, number 3. So, log our y is 0 0.01. Our base is 10. That is equal to the exponent, negative 2. And last number, if you want to try number 4, go ahead, just pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. So log, our y is 9, our base is e, equals the exponent is 1. So this will be the final answer. So this is on how to transform from exponential going to logarithmic.